Hi kids, it's Bunny, back with another journal. Uh, let me pull out just a hair. There. I guess that's good. Um, maybe another hair. Okay. This one is a woodland theme, and it has this really cute uh, fabric that I found that has bunnies and bears and things on it and so I kept the uh, cover fairly simple I just put a uh, bunny picture with a picture frame around it and wanted to leave the rest so that you could see all the cute little creatures so let's take a look inside uh, the usual sorry ribbon to uh, tie it all up inside oh this uh, particular book has a three inch spine I took a regular book and removed the spine and replaced it with a bigger one so I could get more stuff in here so it's a little stiff from the uh, uh, craft text that I use but it's loosening up some as I use it. So inside the front cover, there's a lace pocket with a little tree charm on it, tree of life kind of charm. Let me put my glasses so I could see what I'm talking about. Um, we have a vintage postcard showing some woods. That's a real postcard. And I have a little mini journal in the front here for extra room for writing. And it's even got little bitty ephemera in it. And put all that back. And our first page has a pretty bee. Um, I got a lot of my images in this journal from either R.T. Mays or the Graphics Fairy or elsewhere and the pages are uh, tea dyed um, in a light a light stain color not as dark as what I usually have because I felt like uh, you needed something a little lighter to, <clears throat> lighter to write on excuse me so here's a little bunny rabbit and our first tuck has uh, some a little little envelope, a pretty little envelope that doesn't have anything in it right now and a tag with space on the back for journaling. And some ephemera we see with room on the back of that for journaling. And there's, I tried to leave some blank pages for journaling. And there's some stamping throughout. And a doily, little bumblebee bag. Inside is a Another little envelope that I made that you can journal inside. And uh, here is a pocket that has several different levels in it for you to use with a little mini tag and a bingo card. You can write on the back of that and another tag. I've done a little, little bit of sewing throughout, not a whole lot. And this particular pocket uh, unfolds so that you have more room for writing. And folds right back up if I can do it right. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm getting over a cold. That just goes right back in there. 
It's got a couple of little pearls for bling. Next we have uh, some uh, tracing paper with some pretty flowers on it. And some music paper. Have a little brad here with a leaf on it. Here's another pocket. This one looks like it should um, unfold, but actually this one doesn't. Don't ask me why, but I didn't make it that way. But it's a beautiful peacock tag. And another envelope that you can open to journal inside. Pretty florals. And another piece of ephemera, which you can journal on the back of. More stamping and more music. There's some more of the tracing paper with uh, dragonflies and other winged things on it. Here's a tuck that has a little poem about the wise old owl and a facsimile cigarette trading card which used to be popular back in the day. Here's the other half of that B tag. And I have lace along some of the edges. Uh, here's a Edith Holden uh, picture, April Bunny Rabbit. And here's another pocket, this one uh, opens and flips down so you can journal in that and it has a, a ticket and another journaling card and another tag more stamping um, a couple of pretty pages That is from an Etsy seller. Um, I can't remember the name. But she has some pretty things. Here's some wallpaper, vintage wallpaper. And here is a pocket with a large tag that you can journal in. And a, an old postcard showing a bear, woodland bear. And this one... This pocket, you can re remove this uh, paper clip, and this one actually does unfold to give you more journaling room. And I can't remember now how I've had it there. And uh, the paper clip helps to keep it in place. And some ledger paper. It's another bag. It just has a cute little llama picture in it. This is uh, some pretty butterflies. More stamping. And D is for deer. In case you didn't know, here's some more tracing paper in the middle of this signature. Oh, it's very pretty. I uh, had a little accident up here and used some gold washi tape to repair it. It just adds to the junkiness of it. Here's another one of these pockets. Um, it has a uh, another little mini mini book that you can write in and another tag. And this one unfolds as well, like the other one we saw earlier. I won't undo it all the way. Uh, in this tuck, we have um, an old seed packet and a journaling card and another ticket. Beautiful owl picture on the other side of the bag.
you know, some little collages here and there. Here is another pocket that unfolds. I can make my fingers work. This slips right out. Folds right down. You can write on it. There we go. And it's got another one of those envelopes. It's a stiffer envelope that you can write in. Pretty sparkly paper. And more ephemera. More writing space. Some more pretty pictures, including uh, Edith Holden. Cute little butterfly down there. Here is a little pocket that uh, has a few little journaling card, and here's a little glassine envelope that has several of these pretty uh, golden leaves in it, which you could use maybe to further decorate the journal. Another doily, more vintage wallpaper, another one of those fold-out pockets, and this one has a cute birdie tag. And uh, another cigarette trading card. Get in there. More music paper that I've stamped on and added some ribbon. Um, here's another bag with a, just a pretty journaling card inside it. Another tuck with uh, another ticket and more journaling cards and ephemera. Here's the other side of a bag. And I've made a little tiny pocket out of a butterfly. And here's a little fabric swatch that I sewed up. Here is a uh, envelope that folds out, and inside is a neat picture from a children's music book. Is it a music book? Well, it's a children's book at any rate. No, it's a children's book, and it's a very nice drawing of squirrels and a little bit about the picture. And another Brad. There's a lovely lady with her deer. I just love that picture. And more tracing paper. The crown birdie. Here's another one of those fold-out uh, pockets that'll fold down and give you extra journaling space. And it has um, it's a facsimile postcard and a tag and more ephemera. Cute bag. I didn't put anything in that one. It's starting to get too fat. Here's a pocket or tuck or whatever that has three sides. You can put something in here or down here or up here. And I thought that was fun. Uh, here's a page from an American, old American girl magazine which is about Girl Scouts and hiking through the woods. And here's another pretty tuck with a lovely journaling card and uh, a map of some sort. I'm not sure where that is. Here's another tuck with another pretty.
pretty envelope that folds out that you can journal in it. And uh, this is uh, just a page you can journal on the back of that has a lot of pretty flowers identified on it. More Edith Holden. Here's a pretty uh, sorry ribbon with uh, sequins on it. Very sparkly. And rose on some uh, cheesecloth. And finally, here's more tracing paper with a lovely rose picture. And on the back cover, we have another pocket with a little bunny rabbit charm and a journaling card and another uh, little book of paper for you to write on. Extra journaling space. So that's the... Uh, Woodland Journal. I tried to make it a little more, uh, I don't know, not quite like the other journals I've made, a little more old-fashioned, I guess, but I hope you like it, and I'm working on a new one that'll be out soon uh, with a dancing theme, so we'll see you when that posts. Bye-bye.